this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can bring in your custom toolbars from Mark Server Cat 2019 to the Service Pack 1 version. Uh, due to the changes done to the Service Pack, we had to make changes to the core engine. So it is a separate folder that contains all this information. So you may notice that uh, lots of your settings were reset to default because of this. So I'll show you how you can bring it back in. So we're going to click on the blue gear icon down here and click on customize. And this will bring in the customize user interface dialog. So in here we're going to go to transfer. And now we're going to load the old CUI file. So if you click on this icon here to open. And now we're just going to browse. So in this case I'm going to go to this PC. You want to go to your C drive, users, oh, in this case I'm going to be going to my user folder. And then you want to look for the app data folder. It may be a hidden folder so you might have to turn that on on your Windows settings. So in here we're going to go to roaming. And then we're going to look for micro survey, MSCAD. And you'll see here the two folders. We got the 2019.1, which is the service pack, and the base 2019 folder. So I'll open up 2019. And in here you can see uh, my old uh, CUI file I had in there. So this was a custom workspace I created uh, in the base like survey CAD 2019 along with a custom toolbar. So I'll open that. And you'll see it in here. So if I click on the plus here, you'll see I have my custom workspace. And in the current version, I do not have it. So because it also ha contains custom toolbars, so I'm going to click on the plus on the toolbars. You can see I have a custom one there called custom one. So I'll just select that and drag and drop it to this side here. So now that's in there, I also want to bring in my workspace. So I'll highlight that and bring that in here. And I'll press OK. And it's just loading the custom toolbars in there. So now it's in the program. So the next thing I want to do first though is just restart the program so it loads properly uh, those applications. So I'll close this. And now I'm just reloading the application here. So I just had it on my other screen there. So now you can see the custom toolbar on the top right here. And if I check my profile, uh, my workspace, sorry, you can see I have my Chris workspace in here. So I can select that. And in here, so show toolbar custom one. Oh, I just have it on the other monitor there. And there you go. That's how you can bring in custom toolbars from uh, the base 2019 to the service pack 2019.